Hello there, I want to welcome you to our presentation and before we get started I want to thank you for your time and uh, giving us a chance to present for you all. The purpose of this video is for us to basically get across to our audience tactics potential managers can face in everyday business scenarios. Our concept was called the Hungry Burger and we've definitely put a lot of work into this final product and we must say we're definitely proud of what we've done so far. So without further ado, let's get into this. So let's start things off by introducing to you guys the theme behind the Hungry Burger. We pick decision making because we feel this is one of the most important aspects managers face in everyday scenarios. Now the business dictionary defines decision making as the thought process of selecting a logical choice from the available options. But we feel as though in order to really understand a definition, you should be able to know it in layman's terms. So for us, decision making is just how can you make things better? As a manager, this is something we must constantly think about. So it was the starting point behind the Hungry Burger. Before we get any further into the topics of the Hungry Burger and our whole concept idea, let me just quickly introduce our group members. The person speaking is Justin Tate, and then we also have Emily Herr. We acted as sort of the leader to the group. We divided up the work equally, and we had Blake Alea, Sam and Koja, and Michael Wilkinson each work on different tasks based on the strengths that we pretty much deduced who could do what the best by evaluating strengths and weaknesses. And we felt it was a good idea to have two leaders as opposed to one because it sort of gives you a different perspective instead of just a single perspective. Our first milestone, we started to come together, kind of introduce ourselves, really figure out who can do what the best, and then we divvied out the work based on, you know, what we learned from each other. The Hungry Burger, we based our ideals off something we all agreed on, that decision making was something worth taking the time to really dig deep and figure out everything we could about it and we have basic stages of decision making that we found from doing a little research which can be seen below and we wanted to demonstrate it through sort of an office type of vibe we know the show is very popular so we think it could be a real success and it will be shown in a way that's simplified so our viewers can really understand the terms and see how they come into everyday business scenarios. By the time the second milestone rolled around we sort of adapted and evolved the storyline. We had our we had the basic idea but we wanted to really develop scenarios where decision making was in you know an everyday thing and the three main characters we have in our office styled um, story is we have Jack Robinson. He's basically the main manager. He's like a humble old man. Um, he owns the Hungry Burger and he's definitely someone, he's a very likable character. And then we have basically the villain, Clark Mallory, who is always trying, he's trying to take advantage of Jack because Jack is a good natured guy. And then we introduce Lewis Daniels. He's sort of the ray of hope basically for Jack. Jack doesn't know it of course because he's a trusting person so he tries to give everyone the benefit of the doubt. But Lewis Daniels is the hard worker and he kind of suspects what Clark's up to. And so we take this conflict and we try and add our own element of how decision making can be very crucial and which employee should be in charge and how the restaurant should be divided up management wise. And um, Basically, in conclusion, we decided that decision making is a long process and one must consider every alternative and the outcome before making a decision. That's basically the morals we, we try to introduce throughout the Hungry Burger. So we have the episodes in detail coming up, but before I get into that, let's talk a little bit about how, how us, the achievers, helped create this Hungry Burger concept. We did talk a little bit about how uh, me and Emily divided up the workload based on everyone's strengths and weaknesses, and as the semester went on, we sort of learned who can do what better, and we sort of used that to our advantage, as any good manager should, really. And um, we did like having Canvas at our disposal 
to communicate with each other, but we felt like it was ineffective. Sometimes people don't get on Canvas until something's due, and uh, procrastination is definitely something that we were worried about. Um, so we tried to knock that out by creating a group number chat so we could get in touch with each other on a pretty much instantaneous basis. So we sort of use that as our main contact source. And basically, we would divide up the workload, see what needed to be done week by week, um, based on that. And we would get together using Canvas. We would put all the files together and add it up to a final product. All right, so now let me introduce you to the first two episodes so you can get basically an overall view of what the Hungry Burger is trying to do in terms of implementing uh, decision decision making processes that managers can go through on in everyday scenarios. Okay, so we have Jack, the manager, and he trusts his supervisor, as any manager should, um, Clark, to run the business in the business's best interest. But what Jack does not know is that Clark is only in the business and he's trying to take advantage of Jack for his own self-interests. So throughout the show we see this sort of plot evolve and how Jack needs to make better decisions. We have him evolve as a character, make better decisions basically to weed out um, employees that are trying to undermine the good of the business. And you can basically get a sense of that through the first episode. Okay, so in the second episode, we sort of see the storyline evolve. Um, we're introduced to our third and final main character, Lewis, who um, basically starts to turn into a plot of good versus evil. Um, Lewis is kind of in the business's best interest while Clark is just in his interest. So if Clark can take advantage of Jack or anyone, he will. But unfortunately, Lewis isn't in a position of power. He's not a supervisor like Clark is. So he's got to make strate strategic decisions based on what he can and can't do. Remember, he's in a business environment, so he has to keep that in mind. And we sort of see that as we go through the rest of the episodes, how decision-making can really play a role in everyday business scenarios. Okay, now that you have a sense of our idea of the Hungry Burger, we want to share our collective thinkings of how we feel as team achievers, how the current state of management is. And just like any practice, we feel it's something that you should continuously work on, because this is something that you can't really perfect, and it's something you should always strive to get better at. And what you learn in school is definitely a great way to build up those fundamental blocks to innovate something completely new, maybe a new type of aspect that no one's ever thought of that could change the whole state of management. There's so much information out there that it's oversaturation is sometimes duff, tough to deal with, but that's another place where decision making can come in handy. What information does that particular manager feel is valuable? And um, Management should definitely always take in consideration short and long-term processes because the decision-making overall, it's not always short-term products. Um, you have to think long-term, like what can come out of it long-term. Just because it might seem like a bad idea short-term doesn't necessarily mean it is a bad idea long-term. Okay, speaking on our group's behalf, we've definitely come a long way in terms of how we act together as a group. Um, when we first started during that first week, we were sort of unorganized and we weren't really sure of how things were going to go because I, for one, have never done anything like this and I know the rest of our group members feel the same way. Um, but we've definitely come a long way in terms of giving each other deadlines and divvying up the work. We become more organized throughout the semester. It's gotten a lot easier as we learned each other's strengths and weaknesses. And by giving each other deadlines, we get all the files in in a more organized fashion. And we come up with this product that is, in our opinion, miles from that week one, that first assignment. We've definitely come a long way. And we definitely learned that it's in our best interest to avoid procrastination because we definitely ran into a few problems and it helped us to get um, a jump on things because we could fix that problem in a relatively timely manner.
And finally, I want to end with our tips for future potential managers. Um, don't ever be afraid to start early because that definitely saved us a few times. We uh, definitely ran into a few problems, both technical and um, logistical. This gave us time to correct the errors we made so we could turn in the best possible product. And another thing that really, really helped that I highly recommend to uh, these potential future managers is that you should elect a leader. Um, someone that's, you know, strong minded in terms of they have a good vision of where they want to go. Someone that wants to succeed and wants to see their uh, teammates succeed. In our case, we actually elected two leaders, so we had two perspectives. So in case someone felt something was wrong, we had someone to sort of give a different perspective, a different take on things to see which way was the best way to do something. And it was a good way to get coordinated. Um, definitely get to know your members, the strengths and weaknesses. Some people aren't as tech savvy. They might be better writers. It's good to keep things like that in mind because then when you're divvying up the work, you can get the best possible product back. And um, finally, when we switched over to a group text thing, that really helped our communication. It made it more efficient and go, um, good communication is definitely key. It helped make things go as smoothly as possible. And with that, I would like to thank you for listening to our presentation.